वेलकम अगेन टू माई चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक कार्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर इन टू द सेकेंड वीक ऑफ द अक्टूबर एंड टूडे इट इज टाइम टू विजिट अवर अर्बन नेट हाउस एंड सी वॉट ऑल प्लांट्स आर डूइंग विच वी हैव प्लांटेड इन टू द मानसून सो लेट अस गेट इन एंड सी हाउ द प्लांट्स आर डूइंग सो नाउ लेट अस गेट इन एंड एज वी एंटर वी कैन सी दैट लॉट ऑफ वेजिटेशन ओवर हीयर and this is almost covering all the space we don't have anyone the walking space but we'll start from this left area these are the apple plants and they have grown very well you can see the growth of the apple plants they have grown to very high height also we have uh, developed some of the shoots or the stub for growing the apple flower and here you can see so those stubs are developed some of the small stub is grown into the vegetative also but we are expecting that from this small stub we may get some of the flowers this season but for that now we need to withhold the water for at least a month or two once the old leaf will shed off then we'll start the watering now here on the right we have three different variety of turmeric and of this variety is grown like very aggressively you can see that it is the top height is reaching to the 7 foot also but on an average it is 5 to 6 foot height of this turmeric also you can see the lot of new shoots is coming into this turmeric so we are hoping that very good production of the turmeric we are going to get from this line on this left we have three four different vegetables here is the cowpea and you can see the cowpea pods are now getting ripen we are going to collect few seeds from this so we are keeping this for the few days now its season is almost over so we are going to remove once the seed is taken and then we'll plant with something else here the left out ginger of the last season you can see it has grown very vigorously so we are going to get a ginger from one of the odd bag moving further these are the red okra the same story the plants are now mature enough and now we are going to take few seeds from this and then we are going to plant something else into this area next on the line is the taro and you can see the very healthy growth of the taro we haven't water for the whole monsoon you can see the size of the taro stem it is grown very thick so the thicker the stem will get the bigger the yield now you can see that the soil is getting drying up after monsoon we have not started the water but soon we are going to start water so that this will develop a good tuber into the winter around the right there is another variety which is slightly lower than the first one but still it is doing good but this last one is not doing good from the day one now it is developing some of the leaf which is high enough but you can see the lot of disease is on the leaf also so we are going to remove this leaf in a meanwhile and then we'll see the whatever the yield we are getting we'll take it as a green harvest and start doing some growing something else over here on this last line we have some deciduous fruit and the other fruit trees so of which the mango is doing good so the plant are now stabilized uh, other deciduous fruit are stable now so we are going to clean this area here we have planted cucumber as a intercrop and you can see the very vigorous growth of the cucumber vine now the wine are almost 70 to 80 days so it will give fruits for the few more days and then we need to remove clean this area and planting something else this has given us lot of fruit and we have used lot of fruit from this around 8 to 10 wines now in this second row we have two things on the left you can see the pigeon pea here we have prune them tree and you can see the branching of this tree four to five branches there so soon this tree as soon as the winter start or the cold day start it will start developing the flower so good growth of the this pigeon pea is there and we are going to get soon the flowering into this but on the right you can see that elephant foot yam it has grown very big and high here it is almost the height of the 5 feet we have planted only 100 g of the tuber And we have not expected such a good growth, but we have got the excellent growth into this elephant foot yam. And the more the bigger the plant, we are going to bigger the yield. So we are expecting the good yield from this 
elephant foot yam also next on the line is our all the vegetables with the cucumber now cucumber wine you can see that this two variety has now finished so both these varieties is over this variety is still there still trying to produce some cucumber but we need to give them now water because water is drying up next on the capsicum it is right from the april over here you can see the new shoots is coming out in the capsicum so we are hoping to have got the more fruit from this capsicum now the chili plant is having a little damage you can see that the yellowing of the leaf and at the same time you can see that worm over there so we need to remove that leaf as well as the worm and we'll clean this all thing here is a grafted tomato few plants are left over we have cut them heavily some have taken up well but few of them not taken up well same thing happen into this brinjal also here in this brinjal this is grafted brinjal plant grown very high but till date we haven't got any fruit from this brinjal so we are going to wait for a few more days or else we are going to remove this variety and plant some winter variety over here next is the chili we are regularly harvesting the chili still we are not able to harvest much of the chili then you can see that some of the red chili over there this is giving very good yield and continuously giving good chili to for the consumption these are little hot chilies next in the line is the ginger now in ginger you can see the with the rain lot of soil is washed away and ginger is open so we need to cover it with the some soil now the interesting thing is this initially this ginger was on a very high even this was running very good but now this has slowed down or you can see the sign of yellowing but in uh, surprisingly this line was initially very slow but now you can see it is growing very vigorously and with the very healthy leaf so this variety initially was slow but now it is going doing very good so we may think for the this variety for planting in the next season too so this is the all the plants as on date doing in my urban garden so friends how do you like my urban garden please write me back into the comment box and if you are also interested in eating healthy food then you can also start with some of this protected house and the grow back culture and fill the media with the organic matter and start growing organic vegetable on your own and have a very healthy harvest for your consumption which you can eat fresh and enjoy happy growing